defying the odds. He's the little boy whose story has brought inspiration to hundreds of thousands of people all across the world. He's Jackson Buell. He was born with a severe and incurable brain malformation, and doctors did not expect him to live more than just a few days. Now he's more than two years old. His perseverance and strength have helped him accomplish so many things that most thought were never possible. It's just one reason why he's called Jackson Strong. Are you coming to get the camera? Give it kisses? His parents say every single breath he takes is a blessing because, according to doctors, Hi, baby, you looking at mommy? He shouldn't be here today. He has to find the odds, and we don't mind using those, those words at all because we listen to what the doctors always had to say, what his prognosis would be. He is definitely a miracle. Jackson Buell's mother first found out something was wrong when she was just 17 weeks pregnant. He was eventually diagnosed with a severe brain malformation called microhydran encephaly. It's extremely rare, and there's no known cure. Doctors told mom Brittany and dad Brandon that their first child wouldn't survive more than a few days. Some suggested an abortion, but the parents, devout Christians, decided to go on. We never were going to play God. We always gave him a chance, a fighting chance. And on August 27, 2014, weighing less than four pounds, Jackson was born. So smart, baby, but you got to keep it there. Born with more energy and life than anyone expected, he grew stronger every day and shocked the experts who lost faith. He's our little hero. Oh, good job. There you go, buddy. Jackson is such a gift, and this morning we are so lucky to have that little boy and his parents, Brittany and Brandon, here in town <laughs> just to be here on the morning show and, and just to give us an update. Most of that video that we saw was from about a year ago. Yes. And man, he's, he's grown a lot. <laughs> it's the hair. <laughs> it's the hair that I really love. And, yep. and I know that he's, uh, he's kind of had a tumultuous morning because yes, it goes up and down with, with all that. But, but he's here and he's happy and his eyes are open. He's awake. Good morning, Jackson. Say good morning, buddy. Say hi, bud. <laughs> so there are so many people that follow your story. About half a million people on Facebook alone. Yeah. And, and, and that's incredible. People from all over the world just really care about this boy and love this boy. And, and I've seen people just cry when they've gotten to meet him. Yeah. It, give us an update on how he's doing. He looks great. Well, he, he's doing very well. He's still up against a lot. He has his challenges uh, every single day where he still throws up several times a day. He has seizures several times a day. Uh, he gets very excited, though, and you'll see a lot of smiles. You'll see a lot of him trying to mimic words. And so considering all that he's up against and when people didn't think he would make it to two, we're past that now. And he actually shows every day how happy he is. And Brittany, with his health problems, it's really surprising to see him sitting up, to see him smiling, to see him yeah, making noises, even moving on his own. Yeah, he's doing fantastic. Honestly, just, just for him to be able to hold his head up like this is a miracle in itself. So it's just great. Let's talk about this book, Don't Blink. You all are releasing it for the first time on TV right here on The Morning Show, yes, which is incredible. True. That's true. And it's available now for purchase. Yes. Mm -hmm. And tell me why you decided to take his story and, and, and put it into a book here. Well, the idea was approached to us, and we hadn't really thought about it, but we thought it was one of the best formats to have someone just truly have their time to stop and hear Jackson's story, to read it, to learn about it. And Anything we advocate for, whether it's through our family, whether it's through our foundation that we have dedicated to Jackson, it's about bringing awareness because he's not the only one that will go through this. He's not the only, we're not the only family that have had a, a difficult diagnosis delivered to us. And so we want there to be hope and a purpose in every single life. And let's talk about the, the foundation. It's really in its infancy, but it's already doing very well. Yes, it is. It's true. It was established this March, and our, our whole purpose, the whole mission behind it, is to raise awareness and funds for neurological research. It's advocating for individuals who live with a disability. And it's believing that every life has value and a purpose, which we certain, certainly believe that. And that's Jackson wrapped up in that entire purpose. And now that Jackson has international fame, you two are in the spotlight. <laughs> and you said you're just normal parents from Central Florida. <laughs> we are. We're just normal parents that have an extraordinary child and just do what we can, what any other parent would do. 
for our baby. Well, you've been so incredibly strong, just like him, just like my little buddy here. I, I love seeing him every time. I get to see him a couple times a year <laughs> since we met. And tell me what's next. What's in the future? I, I think God only knows that. And we were told he wouldn't be here uh, at this point. So literally every single day is a miracle for us that we have him just one more day, just one more day. So we just try to make every day special. And we don't know what the future holds, but we don't focus on that. We focus on the blessing that he is for our family and giving him everything that he could possibly ever need. Mm -hmm. You guys are a great day family. Day. <laughs> Thank you so much. And look, I, I love it because he was squealing on the way in. <laughs> he was. And he was having trouble this morning. And we, we weren't even excited. sure if we were going to be able to get you on the show. But yeah. he's excited. And he, he, was. he was on his best behavior. So thank you, <laughs> Brittany, Brandon, and of course you, my buddy, Jackson. <laughs>